Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. Today we have a huge list of goals and achievements essentially that we acquired yesterday. So I want to go ahead and start the video off by letting you guys know that I have updated the goals uh, section here to be a little bit cleaner, kind of give some idea of what I'm focusing on. And I also put the YouTube progress videos right here. So day eight is going to fill up right here. Anyway, though, let's get right on into it. So yesterday we slammed down on bosses. Uh, all we have to do now is basically farm Uber Elder, which is not really going to be very difficult. It's just spawning him. That's kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, and we have to do Maven's Invitation the Feared. You guys watched the YouTube video yesterday I uploaded. We downed actually two Mavens. The second one was Deathless. I was pretty happy. And if you notice by my flippy floppies, we did indeed acquire Legacy of Fury. They are as good as I remember. We divine them to get, um, I was just trying to get my Scorch Chance up and I hit 39.40, so I'm pretty happy with this. I also recrafted my chest a little bit yesterday. Um, I have to uh, actually recraft for Life is a Yes, but I'm gonna wait for, I guess I probably should just do that right now. Let's, let's do that. You guys can give me luck, right? All right, can you please get 10? I can you please get 10? Oh, okay, cool. Last time it took 16 chaos, so I'm really happy that that didn't get screwed up. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys in this last video, but I basically replaced my pyre ring for this ring. So all I did is I used uh, essence of anger here. Uh, I was using deafening, but if you're SSF, you should probably use shrieking. So you use it on an opal ring that has a percent Ellie base. You catalyst it ahead of time. If you look at the top there, the Ellie damage. So this ring gives tiny bit less damage than pyre but it also gives me life and a hybrid res so very 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 good um yeah other than that i think we're pretty much good to go with our upgrades um i did get like fire multi here i don't remember if i had fire multi previously but let's go jump into a map and show you the difference with legacy of fury so here's just the t16 coves i must have time I guess I should have actually done a Guardian fight instead. Let me, uh... Yeah, you know what? Let's not do this. Let's go do a Guardian. This is a way better showcase. Alright, what maps do we have? Any, like, non-stupid phase Guardians? Okay, I got, like, uh... Sure, we'll do Minotaur. I mean, uh... Phoenix, not Minotaur. Alright, let's see if we can run this out. Uh, what do we have here? I honestly think that's great. That's perfect. Let's go do that. We also hit level 97 yesterday, uh, so I was pretty happy about that. Now I basically have to figure out if we want to keep bossing for things like maybe a Watcher's Eye or Awakened Gems are kind of cool. Uh, oh, actually, that leads me to one other thing that happened yesterday. I was pretty hype. We actually dropped an Awakened Swift Affliction. Uh, very exciting. Very, very, very exciting indeed. I don't know why I'm spending so much time trying to clear. I'm just going to like, zoom through here. Fox. So yesterday, when I set up the Ashes of the Stars properly, uh, remember I was talking about it, I anointed Charisma so I could fit in Skitterbots. So I had to sacrifice a Gem Socket to do that. So now I don't run Infernal Cry because I have my Maven Boots. And I just permanently run Enduring Cry uh, since my main focus is bossing right now. If my main focus was map clear, I still might run Infernal Cry because it's just really good. Um, okay, so this is going to be... There's no Maven, but it's the... In, the oh, it's the, uh, the double whatchamacallit. So we should get two of these guys. So let's wait for him to go here. Okay, let's go. things who did we get hydra okay where's hydra i hate how the essence guarantee spawns in here it's kind of a pain in the ass this is the key to down they go I have to say, I'm very, very, very impressed with RF this league. Um, 
I don't remember it being able to tackle Guardians so easily compared to previous leagues. I really think um, the Ashes of the Star fitting in Skitterbot is just such a huge amount of damage. Um, it's like, I mean, I literally don't have Awakened Gems with the exception of this. My gems are level 20. They're not level 21. I'm only using a Conk Effect uh, 30 Ellie Helmet, right? This could have burn damage. It's going to have plus two. Uh, it could have plus one. Like, there's just a lot of crazy things. I have no Cluster Jewel setup at all. I think I don't even really have jewels. Uh, no, that's a lie. I did get this one jewel in SSF. Increase damage over time, fire multi, max life. I think that's the only jewel we have on our build. Uh, I have also now deviated and I came down a tiny bit right here to just grab Asylum uh, to help bolster my Chaos Res because of like Al Hesman and just in general running higher tier content. So our Chaos Res is even really, really good. I'm not really sure where our next big swap is going to be. Um, in terms of upgrades, I feel like brutal restraint would be a super good like right here um that's kind of a pain of the ass to run because right now i redid my atlas for more of like a bossing setup so um yeah i don't really have the points right now to refund everything also uh for guardians i typically run a sulfite scarab i did not do it on this phoenix kill but i typically run a sulfite scarab because it costs nothing even an ssf for me and I basically get like, I don't know, a little bit over 100% increased damage for the Guardians, which helps a lot when you're fighting two at the same time and you're in SSF and you're playing Righteous Fire. Uh, so this definitely gives a ton of damage um, if you guys are unaware. And if you're doing the Atlas bossing setup, you're going to be here anyway for chance for additional connected maps. So it's literally just two point deviation, which is pretty cool. I think the last of the highlights was we found a... Where is it? How do I, uh, influence? Oh, yeah, there it is. I also got a Warlord's Exalt Orb yesterday, so that was also pretty nice, but nothing really too important right now. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going for right now. I guess right now I'm just going for fun. I think today and tomorrow I'm going to try to maybe update the goals command with some more things that I want to do, but for now I'm pretty happy with the character. I didn't expect to actually progress this far. This was more of like a challenge for me. And man, it breezed by so quickly. So anyway, I'm going to catch you guys later. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys are enjoying Righteous Fire as much as me in this league. Um, yeah, don't forget. Um, you can always catch me streaming live at twitch.tv slash pox. I just don't stream on Sundays. So right after this video is uploaded, you can pretty much catch me live. See you guys all later. Thanks for watching.